I'm Father Gray, and this is a St. Mary's Minute. When we pray for something, we also enlist the help of our friends. When we pray together with other people, our prayers, united not only with other people, are united with God. Some of the best friends we have to pray with are the saints. And on Saturdays in particular, we think of our Blessed Mother. How are the ways in which we ask Mary for the good things that we are praying for? We say often, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And then the second part of that prayer is particularly important for this. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Pray for us, we say. And what are we praying for? For all the things. Not just the things we are asking for, but also the other aspects of prayer, that our thanksgiving may be given to God, that God may be adored, and that we ourselves may be granted pardon, that we may receive mercy. One of the loveliest prayers to Mary, especially in petition, is something called the Memorare. It goes like this. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Mary's mercy? In fact, yes. When we ask the saints to pray with us and for us, just as we ask our friends, our family, to pray with us and for us, we are imploring their mercy, that is to say, their love with us and for us, that we may all together give glory to God and do this thing, which is to pray even if it is for something simple, even if it is for something that is very personal. Let us pray together, and so always come closer to our Lord.